Hi everyone, my name is Tyler and in today's lesson, I'm going to be discussing the two different types of articles that we use in English. The definite article and the indefinite article. So articles are words that describe a noun as being specific, definite, or unspecific, indefinite. The definite or specific article is the or the. The indefinite, or when speaking in general, is a or an. So to begin with the definite article, the. The refers to one specific thing. The can be used with singular, plural, and uncountable nouns. Some examples using the definite article, the. Please hand me the onion from the fridge. That's a specific onion that we're speaking about. When you see the article the, it implies that there is a specific onion in mind. So which one? The one in the fridge. Another example, I need to go to the store to buy school supplies. That's a specific store that I'm speaking about. For example, maybe it's Walmart. I know I can get school supplies there, so I say that I'm going to the store. Would you like to watch the movie with me? That's a specific movie. If I'm asking that question, one can infer that the other person already knows what movie I'm talking about. Maybe we had a conversation prior discussing a movie, and now I'm asking, would you like to watch the movie with me? Not just any movie. The indefinite articles a uh, or a and an are used to describe a noun that refers to a general idea, not something specific. The indefinite articles are only used with singular nouns. If you would like to use the indefinite article but plurally, you would use the word some, but not a or an. That's only for singular nouns. N is used before a word that begins with a vowel, and the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. A, or a, is used before a word that begins with a consonant, which is any letter that is not a vowel. So any letter that is not A, E, I, O, or U. So some examples for the two indefinite articles. Please hand me a sweater. So this sentence implies that I'm not asking for any specific sweater. Any sweater will do. So it's an indefinite or speaking in general. And the reason we use a instead of an is because sweater begins with an S, which is a consonant. So you'd say a sweater. The next example, an apple would satisfy my appetite. So not a specific apple, I didn't say a red apple, green apple, just an apple, any apple would satisfy my appetite. And the reason we use N, A-N, is because apple begins with a vowel, which is A. There are a few exceptions to this rule, mainly with words beginning with U and H. So words that begin with U or H can either have the sound of a consonant or a vowel. For example, the wrong way to say this sentence would be Stephanie is a honest lawyer. And I realize that can be confusing because H is a consonant, so you would think that the A is correct. However, honest is pronounced without the H. We don't say honest, it's honest. So it's almost like the H isn't even really there. So because it begins with the sound of an O, which is a vowel, we use N. Stephanie is an honest lawyer. So not only does it depend on the first letter, but also the sound that it makes when you begin saying the word. Some examples of words beginning with H with the H sound, history hotel, or home. And then three more examples with a silent H, 
So with the vowel sound, our, honor, and honest. Now, a few examples with you. The wrong way to say this sentence would be, an union supports the rights of employees. So although this is a vowel, you is a vowel, it has the sound of a consonant, Y, united. It has the sound of a Y, therefore we would say a union supports the rights of employees. And three examples of le uh, words beginning with U with a Y sound, union, uniform, and united would all be considered um, consonants because of how the word is pronounced. Now, words that begin with U and have the U sound, umbrella, unbelievable, unrest. So it's the difference between a uh and U. Two different sounds requiring two different articles. And for simplicity's sake, I've made uh, a bunch of examples using the noun onion to describe a lot of the different rules of these articles. So the first one, can you pass me the onion or onions on the table? Specific and definite. We even know the location. It's the onions on the table. So we already have in mind the onions that we're speaking about. It's not in general. It's specific and definite. Can you buy me an onion? That would be indefinite, unspecific. I'm not giving you any specific instructions for this onion. Just please buy me an onion. Any onion is fine. So that's going to be indefinite. Can you buy me a red onion is indefinite or in general. There's many different red onions. I don't know specifically which one you're going to choose just a red onion. And as you can see, we're using the article A instead of N because although onion begins with a vowel, there's an adjective before it, red, which begins with a consonant. So if there's an adjective before the noun, we're basing the article off the adjective. So it's the following word, a red onion. Can you buy me some onions? That's indefinite plural. Remember how I said in the beginning that with indefinite or general articles, it's only used singularly, but we can use the word some to still speak indefinitely um, in general and refer to uh, something that is plural like onions. And this last group of examples aren't gonna make a lot of sense. They're kind of silly sentences, but I just made them so that you could understand uh, the rules in practice. So the first sentence, can you buy me a holy onion? Now the reason why we use a is because the adjective holy is pronounced with the H. So that's going to be con considered a uh, consonant. The next example, can you buy me an honor onion? So two adjectives that both begin with H, but the pronunciation is completely different. Holy and honor. So I'm not pronouncing the H. Therefore, we consider this a uh, vowel and we use N. Can you buy me a united onion? Now, the reason we use A is because in the word united, we're using the Y sound, which is a consonant, so we use A. And the last example, can you buy me an unbelievable onion? So again, both adjectives that begin with U, but with different pronunciations, U and U. Uh. So this is the U vowel sound, therefore we use N. And that's all of the uh, lesson that I have for you guys today. There is a couple more topics that I will be covering in relation to articles, uh, but I think this is a good base to start. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe on the video, and let me know if you have any suggestions for future lessons. Thank you.